So welcome back again to the virtual demo room here in Shista at the Bosch office. First, would like to thank you all for the feedback so far regarding this seminar. It's really fun and interesting to see that so many of you are out there watching what we're doing and being interested. Uh, I would also recommend you to register on our webpage to get the latest and greatest information, to get some reminders, and also to be able to get the links where you can access the information later on. So that's a really nice tool for you. So please scan the QR code now. You don't need to type in the, all the information and search for it. And you will have the ability to get all info. Uh, we have done a couple of different ones with the general sessions. Today will be a more, bit more focused on the autodomes. Uh, the autodomes is a part of our mowing portfolio. Uh, you can see here in the background, it's containing both the autodomes and the metal mickeys. But today's focus is on the autodomes. So starting with the autodomes going into the 4000i series. It's an indoor version both for in ceiling mount or in surface mount. We also have other cameras in the 5000i series made for indoor use and outdoor use. So 4000 is for indoor use. 5000 is for indoor and outdoor use and the 7000 is also both for indoor and outdoor use. When you come to the 5000 series you will see that we have the starlight addition to the cameras but I will explain that a bit more in the later slides when we come to the actual cameras. Uh, Autodomes. The name of the cameras has been here for many 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 years within Bosch. Uh, they have evaluated quite a lot and what we have today is so far from what we had a couple of years ago when I started to use them. Uh, the first autodomes, uh, before they were called autodomes, actually came from Burl that was acquired by Philips and then was acquired by Bosch. So I've been in the autodome world for quite a long time. What is unique, as I mentioned, is the analytics that is built in into the edge. In the four, five thousand series, both the indoor, outdoor, the one with infrared and the one without, both the one with starlight and without starlight, we have essential analytics built in. Uh, more about that one soon. Going into the 7000i series, we are then increasing and coming up to the intelligent analytics series. And I will show you later on what is new with that one in the 7000i series and also what is really unique and different. But just as a short teaser, used for perimeter protection in very rugged environments when it comes to shaking, vibration and all that stuff that has been a challenge for moving cameras for such a long time. Being able to be used in traffic monitoring, to have the intelligent when it comes to the tracking of objects and also now with the update to the 7000i series to do IVA when the camera is moving and also being able to do camera trainer. That's really a huge st step in the um, development of moving cameras. So let's start a bit with the 5000 and 4000 i series. These are really price performance ratio great products. What you can see from the slide here behind me is also that we have products that are suitable for most different environments and most, most different verticals. Starting with the 4000 i for indoor use, going to the 5000 i with both infrared illumination and without and also stepping up to the starlight version where you really can go long distances and getting great image performance in extremely dark environments both with and without infrared illumination. The previous webinars have been showing similar slide sets like this showing that we have highly detailed images that we have high dynamic range cameras that we're able to catch fast moving objects and you will see this again and again and again. It's really boring to do these repeating of information but I would like to mention it because you should consider this one even if it's an entry level camera from Bosch where it's a high range high performance camera you will have the similar feature set. It's just all over the complete portfolio. Staying a bit with the 4 and 5000 i series. Essential analytics. In a few slides, you will also see a link to where you can download all these different types of video clips showing you the essential analytics. But essential analytics is really suited for indoor and outdoor applications in places where you don't expect so much movement from other stuff. 
where you don't have the same interference from en the environment. The camera is mounted in a fixed position, so it's not vibrating and shaking. Then you can use the essential analytic. It's really the unique feature set of these cameras. To have it built in, you don't need a separate license. You will have it there from the start when you buy a Bosch camera. That's the essential analytic. If you have been joining me for the other webinars, you will see reduced bit rates. Up to 80% using H.265 and the intelligent streaming possibilities we have it in, in the Bosch cameras. It starts already in the 4000 series. Going up to the 9, it's the same feature set that we're using to do this. That is one thing that is in common. If you remember this slide, data security. We are using the same hardware measures, the built-in components in the cameras in the Autodom 4 and 5000 series as well as we do in the fixed cameras, as we do in the Mickeys, as we do in the upcoming 7000i series I will talk about in two slides. It's the same way of protecting the data. If you know one camera from Bosch, know them all. If we now take the next step into intelligence, when it comes to higher feature set, even better image quality than in the 5000i series, we come to the Autodom 7000i. And this improvement that we have done now, it's a tremendous step in the intelligence for moving cameras. So first of all, as I mentioned, we have the ability to use it in parameter protection, traffic monitoring, to do the intelligent tracking with AutoTrack that you one will be demonstrate pretty soon here. We will also demonstrate and show you the camera training functionality and the ability for a camera to do video analytics at the same time as it's moving. That is really unique in moving cameras with built-in intelligence from Bosch. What we also did in this update, we increased the image performance quite a bit. We did some update of the camera block, we did some update of the mechanics, and we now have three years warranty also on the moving parts. That is a nice improvement when it comes to the total cost of ownership. So that is something we also have done now when we updated the 7000i series. Reducing the Starlight technology, reducing the HDR performance within Starlight technology to be able to do good imaging in bright and dark areas at the same time. We're able to catch up to 60 frames per second with the 7000i cameras, and the zoom range is up to 30 times. You have seen this picture before. Yes, it's the building blocks we're building all our cameras on. Using the Starlight technology, to do really good image performance in the most challenging light environments. Intelligence. This is the part where we are differentiating quite a lot. We are doing it completely at the edge. We are using the hardware performance and the components in the cameras to be able to do video analytics on the edge. Depending on the series, we have different amounts of components and different amounts of horsepower in the cameras. So in the 4 and 5000i series, we're able to do essential analytics. But in the 7000i, we're able to do intelligent video analytics at the edge. And it's not just to use it in the camera. We're also using it, storing it together with the data and the video information to be able to be searched afterwards. So back to one of my favorite video clips. Uh, this one shows you the metadata the camera is generating. All the information you see on this animated video, it's actually also generated in real life. So we have the colors of the objects, you have the uh, classification of the object as we as a manufacturer have developed. You also see, for example, GEU position. That is the, uh, in this case, the GPS position of that specific object that this camera has generated as a part of the metadata stream. You can have 16 different positions where you can have this detailed, specific metadata generated. In these 16 positions, we will also demonstrate how you can train the camera on specific objects. So it doesn't just have to be a person or a car. We will show you an example where we train the camera on a specific object that can be useful for your use and for your specific use case. Um, 16 different positions with 16 different objects and a lot of opportunities to do things that you've never been able to do with a moving camera before. 
So metadata is the key. Therefore, I like this video so much. Essential video analytics, as I told you, is where we start in the 4 and 5,000 i series. In the 7,000 i series, we go over to intelligent video analytics, where we also are adding the camera trainer. This is something completely new. We will demonstrate it soon. So this is a unique feature to be able to have intelligent video analytics and at the same time to do machine learning in your Autodome. It's completely new. The, I will not go into all the different examples of the videos that we have of essential analytics and intelligent analytics. So as you see here on the right side, you have this, uh, this tool, the clickable PDF. This one, you can also reach on this link that Rodul will put up very there it is yes as the bosch apps and tools there you can find this clickable pdf download it and use it and demonstrate it with all your different types of use cases that's a very nice tool to use as well so starting with essential going into intelligent adding camera trainer what i really would just talk a little bit about at the same time when the video is running in the background is the ruggedness when it comes to the intelligent video analytics in the 7000i series that is also possible in the metal mix series uh, you will have the ability to use the intelligence also in environments where you never uh, believed that you could use video analytics before it's robust against shaking vibration against the rain snow all this different stuff where you really think you will generate false alarms it will be so much better than it was previously and also if you compare it with essential analytics and also to be able to do video analytics on water that is something that is extremely uh, useful in some environments where you have a combination of water and the land site just close to the border range for example so intelligent video analytics it's the part where you get the extra mileage if you compare it with the essential one so it's really important that we have so many use cases for this one around in the Nordic region. Uh, that's the intelligence um, from a broader perspective when it comes to IVA. What is new then? Yes, video analytics while moving. This is something we have had in the mix series before, but we now increase the intelligence also in the 7000i series. And this is something where I will ask you one to help out with a bit of a demonstration. Here in the parking garage we can see the 7000i has been set on a guard tour. While it's doing the guard tour it's perfectly able to track and identify objects as a normal IVA analytics feature would on a fixed camera. It detects objects as it passes through the zones and also can continue on the guard tour so it can provide analytics over a very large area. Here we enable tracking. So in this case, when the object is detected, the PTZ tracks the object and follows it. Even if it starts moving quickly, the object is tracked very accurately and triggers alarms as it goes. The object will be tracked until it passes out of the camera's view, and then the camera will return to its guard tour. Yes, so what you saw was an example how it can look like when you're using video analytics at the same time as the camera is moving. Uh, we'll have to thank you one later when it comes back into the office. Perhaps what you saw before in the clip was a view from the Autodome we have here in the, in the demo room. It's a 4000i series Autodome. It's the entry level series. It, this one is uh, surface mounted. Uh, 12 times zoom, really nice image performance with the built-in essential analytics as well. So perhaps you who paid attention also could see that the text was saying Autodome 4009. We now demonstrated video analytics while moving. I mentioned the solution of Camera Trainer. Camera Trainer is what you will get free of charge when you have a Bosch camera with IVA. As soon as you step into the IVA part, going from the 7000 series and above, you will have camera trainer built into your product free of charge it's already there from the time when you buy it this is uh, also something we talked about or we'll talk about in different webinars coming up we both have had a few and there will be a few ones coming up as well but what you can do is train the camera on specific objects that you would like somebody to either activate an event from or to create an alarm 
You can also use it to collect statistics, for, for example, to find ITS solutions where you would like to have statistics about cars moving in specific directions, how the traf traffic flow is, or whatever you can find out. But in this short demo we will do, pretty soon, uh, we will demonstrate one use case. I'm not sure if it's a typical one, but we at least are uh, trying a use case with a moving camera that is in different fixed positions detecting the same thing even if it's in different positions. Perhaps you remember, you can have a moving camera in 16 fixed positions and in these positions you can have up to 16 different detectors. And in this um, demonstration you will see the camera using two different detectors. I will not spoil it for you, but I think it might be a car and it might be a parking sign. But let's see what we can do. In this preset position, we've taught the camera to detect two types of object. One is a road sign and one is a, is a car. We've also put a detection zone in here, as you can see in the green box, and we've applied a rule to that. So when both are, are met, then you get an alarm. For example, the park car and the no parking sign combined together with a time delay, and then you get the alarm showing that a car is parked illegally. We can use this in many different ways. So we can also have multiple presets in the camera and multiple configurations, as Anders mentioned. In the second example, we're detecting a car parked illegally in this car park. So we specified an area, and if the car parks in the prohibited space, it triggers an alarm. The last example we're going to show you is a crossing, uh, it's a pedestrian crossing. So we've taught the camera what the crossing looks like. So if the crossing is blocked for any length of time, it creates an alarm. So as you can see, it can be used in lots of different ways. So that was all from you one today. Now we will wrap up this session. I would just like to show you a very short thing about the remote portal. Remote portal, you have heard about, you have seen it. I would just like to demonstrate very shortly what we have done with cameras, with autodoms and an example. As we have, uh, we have connected through the remote portal to an autodom in our demo site in Finland. You can see this on my iPad over here. What you also can see, and I would like to show you a little bit about how it looks like when you control it. To show you that the remote portal is really giving in the real-time video. You have this moving camera. I would go over to the uh, full screen mode. I will activate the pan tilt zoom. And what you can see here is as soon as I start moving the camera, it's really sensitive and it's real-time. So what you can do here is really get into all the nice possibilities of moving your PD set cameras, the autodoms, and the metal mixes as well. You can also do the zooming, you can do the pan tilt, and you can also have pre positions that you have done in advance. So, using the remote portal as a possible solution for removing cameras through the remote portal is also an option. Um, you should consider the remote portal to be your general user interface and the way for you to easily connect to all types of cameras from Bosch, both fixed, both mowings, starting with the 4000 series, going to the 9000 series that you will see in a webinar pretty soon. That was pretty much everything from us today. Uh, hope that you enjoyed the presentation and the information, uh, and hope to see you in a webinar soon again. So stay safe and see you soon. Bye.